let's see if it works this time. I don't know, it's always a crapshoot. Hey, I'm live! Hallelujah. Hey, Melinda, what's going on, chick? I am live. Um, I've been trying to go live, and, you know, I get on, I'm not live, so I have to get out, delete, start over. Hello, Brenda, what's going on, chicks? Happy stinking Monday. How is everybody doing? Somebody dropped me a comment, so I know if I can see comments. Hello, Sherry. I see people popping on, but I don't know if I can see comments. I might have to turn on my phone. What's going on? The Sparkle Queen is in the house. Thank you, Linda. All right, I can see comments. This is a beautiful thing. I just did a live over in my private group, the Royal Sparkle Chicks, and I couldn't see comments until the very end of the video. So there was that. Hello, Mary. Hello, Patricia from Nebraska. Hi, Dee Dee. Thank you, Velma, for the stars. Hello, Gloria. What's going on, everyone? Hello, Patricia. All right, so guys, hello from New Hampshire. Hello, Lori. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Royal Funky Junk. We got Cindy still in the house. She's working on Brittany's <laughs> wedding dress. She's sewing up the bustles and all that good stuff. So we are wedding go. Thank you for the stars, Joyce. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Patty and Peggy and Mary and Robbie. Yeah, so we're all about weddings right now. Hello, Chrissy. We're all about weddings here right now. We are in full-blown wedding mode. Our house is a disaster. Our patio is cleared <laughs> off. Everything is getting done. Hello, Denise and Brenda and Shirley and Barbara. Hello, Sparkle Chicks. Happy stinking Monday. So guys, a lot of you have been asking me about diamond dusting. Hello, Michelle. And hello, Sylvia. Um, we're going to be diamond dusting a photograph today. So I'm going to be doing lots of wedding things the next couple weeks leading up to the wedding. Hello, Carl. Hi, Jeannie and Sandy and Dee Dee. What's up, peeps? So um, I did have another couple of people, um, if everybody's on here, who bought from the sale. Thank you. What a crazy week last was. But here's the thing. If you guys did buy from me, do not forget that the post office is running very slow. You all know who have bought from me in the past. What the post office does when it leaves my house, sometimes, hello, hello, Elizabeth and Marie and Linda, it sits in a truck somewhere. I'm not responsible for it once it leaves. Um, hello, Karen and Tracy. So, guys, it's on its way. Um, the po I, can't even, I can't even begin to explain, but ever since COVID happened, hello, Joanne and Missy, this is the way the post office is rolling. They're very behind, so just be patient. I know that you all pay for priority shipping, but that's not how it works, unfortunately. Um, I don't understand it. Um, so like I've said, I've shipped out items going to the same person, same day they leave. One of them gets there in a week, two days. And the other one took three weeks. So thank you. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Debra. Hi, Barbara and Peggy. So yeah, guys, Funky Junk is on its way. I do have a couple boxes going out tomorrow. Um, and then I'm still making the earrings that I have to make today and then get those out for everybody. Um, hello, Cindy and Sherry and Maribel. So thank you guys for sparkling. Don't forget to do that. Hello, Wendy and Maribel and Martha. Hello, hello, hello. So guys, we're going to be doing diamond dusting. I've had a lot of you asking me about how we diamond dust a photograph, like an actual printed photograph. So here is the bride and groom to be. This is going to be displayed at the wedding. Um, I have a beautiful frame that it's going in back there. I just spray painted that white. It's gonna sit inside this matting. So take a look. We're gonna add some totally dazzled bling. We're gonna diamond dust this picture. And hello, Jane, thank you, Beth, for the stars. Hello, Janet, and Michelle, and Elaine, and Sandy, and Donna. It's been a great, crazy busy one. I had to go to the seamstress. I had to drive almost an hour to get there to drop off my bling belt, uh, shorten my sleeve. So it's been a crazy day. Um, I did a live in my private group this afternoon. Um, making this month's giveaway for the uh, decorating challenge we do over there every month. So here it is. I'm going to show you guys how to diamond dust an actual photograph print. I know we've never done one here before. Your one hasn't turned out very well. Well, it's a little tricky. Um, so, hold on a second. Um, so, yes, it's been a little bit um, of a crazy, hectic day. Hello, Delilah. Um, Renee, yes, I've got, I will let you know, I'm going to make a bunch and then some, but I've got to get them out to the people who already um, said from the sale. Hello, Lorette. Hello, Donna. Yes, they are a beautiful cu couple. So this is was they, when they got engaged. Uh, these are their engagement when he popped the question. They were doing a family um, 
a family photo shoot and he surprised her by proposing to her. So I love this picture of them. So uh, that's my stepson. This is Brittany. This is Maddie's mom. So hi, Sheila. Hi, Martha and Ellen and Tammy. Welcome, guys. Um, thank you. Greetings, everyone. Uh, Charlie, you can get on the private group. You can go to my website, uh, royalfunkyjunk.net, and you click the main menu tab at the top, and then you click join Royal VIP. It is $20 a month, and we do contests and challenges over there where I give away custom funky junk. Today we made a gorgeous vintage antique crystal, what do you call that? Wind chime. Wind chime light catcher. Totally stunning. Uh, Marianne, you're in Facebook jail again. You're hilarious. She's always in Facebook jail. Well, I'm glad you can get on using uh, your hubbies. Yay, Sherry, you signed up for that. That's awesome. Yeah, so guys, we're going to get going. I've got to pick up Jack from lacrosse practice at 7. Um, so another reason I was a little bit late because I was like, dude, i got to take you early because i got to live. Hello, Darlene and Cheryl. All right, so guys, the first thing you want to do when you're diamond dusting any kind of photograph, whether it be a 4x6, a 5x7, whatever you want to do, you got to make sure you get some double sided tape and you got to put it on something stiff. I put this on, it's just like a matte cardboard, and you just want to double side it down, you know, onto something stiff because when you get, um, hi Elizabeth, hi Dina. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlene. You're going to, it's going to curl. And if you don't, because, you know, the paper gets wet, um, you don't want that to happen. So you definitely want to put this down on something stiff and heavy. Darlene, you like my outfit for the wedding? So do I. I'm so excited. I think it's going to be great. I'm going to get my hair done, I think, next week. Um, I've been laying out in the sun, getting a little tan. I was outside all day yesterday, me and Cindy, at, uh, you know, three lacrosse games outside. So we got some sun yesterday. Um, you got your rice papers, Jody. You're going to love them. They're amazing. So once I leave, get off this live, I have to run to pick up Jack. Go to the grocery store. Hello, Zone. <laughs> it's never ending, running around. And then probably, you know, come back here. We've got lights to hang. I don't know. We've got so much going on right now, peeps. Our backyard is, yard is under, like, a major transformation. So it's exciting. Did you guys see all my, my story from yesterday where I posted it. the pool is looking better I'm gonna get the robot in it tonight to clean it out that's looking good everything's coming along beautifully so back to the craft back to diamond dusting 101 a photograph and again thank you guys for sparkling don't forget to do that that's how we let everybody know this is gonna be a good one so we want to get everybody out there because I am the diamond dusting queen so you have your photograph I did already put some double-sided tape onto a piece of cardboard stiff cardboard it is wrapped in plastic but it doesn't matter you just want something stiff an old box cut up or whatever and lay it on there make sure your 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 picture is um, free of debris hair dog hair rocky hair all that stuff so what I decided to do with this one is I am going to Barbara go check out my stories you're going to outdo the bride. Oh no, Barbara, she's an absolutely stunning bride. There's no outdoing Brittany. Her dress is magnificent. It's right behind me, but I can't even guys give you guys a peek just in case, you know, Salvi's watching. Yes, it's gonna be fun. It's a lot of work, but it is fun. Uh, so Barbara, I've been doing my uh, stories with the yard transformation and stuff like that. We're spray painting some tables, some gold, cause her chargers are gold for the dinner. So it's gonna be really great. Why is a dark picture not as good? Susan, it just, because, so I like diamond dust better on um, lighter things. Like I would never do his pants because, so diamond dust dries clear, Mod Podge dries clear, but you know, the diamond dust still has like a, a bit of a, sh a color to it. And it just, it still works. I've done it before. Um, it just, it's not as dark, dark. That's almost like where I would suggest coloring your diamond dust black and then if you're going to do something dark. Um, Sandy, where are my stories? If you go to Royal Funkin' Jackie, hit that little blue button where my, you see my profile picture and you just click on that and it'll say view stories. Or there are those little bubbles at the top of your Facebook. Um, that's where the stories are. Um, but thank you. So that's where I've been posting a lot of, of cool stuff. Now stories disappear after 24 hours. So um, but that's why you got to follow. I'm always a story watcher myself. Hello, Debbie from Florida. So you have this. Now, what I have decided to do with this with this photograph, um, I'm going to diamond dust everything but their bodies. So I'm going to make them, it's almost going to make them appear 3D-ish. Or 
I was thinking about just doing her shirt, her dress, his shirt, and like the pond and the trees, but I think because there's so much more going on around here, I am going to, hi guys, hi Denise and Diane, I'm going to diamond dust everything around their body, even down here in between Salvi's legs, around his shoes, and I'm going to show you how to do that. I am going to need my, I'm going to need my little spinner. So I'm going to move you guys down and hopefully my tripod is not going to be wonky. So what you're going to do, um, let's see if I can move you up a little bit. Don't send me hate mail for not being prepared. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, it is what it is. So you're not going to see my head, but that's okay. Um, I love this. So because this is a larger picture, I am not going to start doing this. Um, I'm not going to start doing this um, in big pieces. I'm going to work around their body. I got a bunch of different size um, brushes. Um, you know, sometimes you can do a big brush in diamond dust, but we're going to be, we're going to do this kind of in sections and you got to be careful, especially down here where there's just little tiny pieces that we're going to be diamond dust. All that we're going to for a party. <laughs> Debbie, I know. Well, you know, we have big parties here every year, so this is really no big deal. I mean, we go through this every year. It's a little bit different, a little bit more involved with the wedding, but we do we do have a big 4th of July party here every year, so we're used to the work. And my husband has one heck of a crew that helps him out. They got a lot done yesterday in a few short hours. So I'm excited. I love to entertain, so it's all good. So I'm going to grab some brushes. I'm going to start down here at the bottom. Hope to God you guys are going to be able to see. So basically, you're going to take Mod Podge Matte Medium. I'm going to pour some into my little bowl. And I'm just going to start off with this small brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start working down here. Um, actually, I need a smaller brush to get in there. Um, let's see. And again, when you're diamond dusting, it's, you know, it, it's, it's really forgiving. So... You don't need, you know, diamond dust dries clear. This dries clear. This is photo paper, Claudia, regular photo paper. I had it printed out at CVS. I'm just going to take some diamond dust, and I'm just going to kind of go with the diamond dust. And again, I don't have to be perfect. If I get a little bit on his jeans or I miss a little bit, it's okay because, because um, it's going to dry clear. And I have my fan on above me, so... I'm not going to be able to um, really work in big sections. So I'm just following. Yeah, can we? Or I don't want you to get hot, yeah, though. Yeah, not though. Um, so see, I got there right down by his legs. I'm going to grab my diamond dust. And all I'm going to do is sprinkle that on. And then I'm going to bounce it off. Yes. So see, now you have that. It's going to be cloudy at first. Um. It's gonna be cloudy, let it dry. I'm not worried about it. And I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna go down in all these little parts with this tiny little brush down here. I see a little bit of grass. We're gonna do that right around her sandal. Diamond dust it. Shake that off onto my paper. See, that's perfect. And then what you can do is if you get a little bit on your, like I got a little bit on his pants, you just take a brush and just kind of flake that right off after it dries, before it dries. And you can just kind of go around and shape and, you know, push it where you want it to go. And it'll dry there. It's the greatest thing. So see, we got these two little pieces done and a little piece right there in between her foot. So now, hello, Callie. So now I'm gonna grab a bigger brush. Make sure that it has a nice end. This is kind of a stiff brush. I'm going to grab this brush and I'm going to start doing now all around their feet at the bottom. So again, and because it dries clear, it's really forgiving. So I'm just going right around here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. You don't have to worry about pure perfection because it's so clear. You're never going to really know if you got a little bit where it doesn't belong. So I'm just going around her dress, but you want it to be enough. And you wanna work with a smaller brush while you're going around all the details, like that little corner right there, and make sure that's all wet. And I'm going to sprinkle my diamond dust. It's 
So see how it's coming along? Now it's still it's still cloudy. I'm not worried about that. Um, give it time to dry. Let it do its thing. Yeah, so we're gonna have this. Um, we're gonna have this displayed at the wedding. Um, so now I'm gonna get my bigger brush here, and I'm gonna start just working my way, and I'm gonna go right up to that diamond dust that I did before, and I'm just gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start going right around her dress. And I'm just working in sections. So I'm going right up to that diamond dust where I left off. And because it dries clear, you're never gonna see where you left off at, where, where you didn't. You're never gonna notice it. So I'm gonna try to get all of that right up to that edge on where I diamond dusted the first half. And I'm just gonna make a straight line and I'm just gonna diamond dust this corner over here and you want to make sure you get that that Mod Podge the diamond dust laid before your Mod Podge dries so don't do big sections and you don't want to go over your Mod Podge twice so now we're going to diamond this, diamond dust this take off that excess now see now see how it's all going to get crystallized hello from Wisconsin so I'm just letting this dry and you're just working in sections all around with your brushes. So now I'm gonna do this little section over here and you're gonna go right up to where you diamond dusted before. That's why it's hard working like if you're working near a fan because you don't want that Mod Podge to dry. And it is tedious, but the outcome is spectacular, especially on a photograph. Shake that off. And then you're also able to tell, like I can see in this seam right here, there is a little tiny bit that I missed. So that's where you can just take your brush and just dot some Mod Podge down in there. You're gonna be able to tell where you missed it, lay some more, and just let it dry. It's gonna do its thing. So see, it's coming along. Yes, you can diamond dust on canvas. I love diamond dusting on canvas. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna meet up where I left off before, right around her dress here. And I'm just following her body. Just like that, getting it right up to where I left off the last diamond dust, only working in small sections because again, like I said, you do not want your Mod Podge to get dry before you lay that that diamond dust down. So I'm just going across like this and see so you can already tell because it's so stinking warm up here. You want that diamond dust to go on when there is when it, your Mod Podge is wet. And again, you know, you can go and fix this. So see how it's coming along? Now see how it looks different down here, but you guys are gonna see it. All this is gonna start drying. Yes, I reuse the diamond dust. That's why I have it on a piece of like card stock and then I just pour it back in. No, she does not know I'm doing this, but uh, she probably does now because she's on here. So um, now I'm just going to my next section. I'm going right around her hair, if you guys can see that. Going right around her hair. And again, working in small sections, I don't want that to dry. And I do make like a nice line like that. So when I'm going to meet up the next section, I have a nice straight line um, that I can go but right up to. Or if something isn't sticking right, you'll be able to see it once this is all dry. You're gonna be able to see what you missed, if you missed anything, what you need to fix. But so far, it's looking really pretty. Now see how, this is what I'm saying about the darker. The darker sometimes leaves a little bit of haze because you have, you know, you have this. You can diamond dust the people if you want, Mary. I'm just choosing to give them a 3D look. Um, you can just do certain parts. You don't have to diamond dust the entire print. Um, I like to be a little bit different. So I'm just diamond dusting around their body. So now I'm gonna move over to here. I'm gonna go around her head 
And again, this is just regular photo paper. I did not, um, the Mod Podge does not bleed, but you wanna make sure you go right up to that diamond dust, that line. That's why I like to give a nice line. And I'm gonna work really quickly here and just go all the way up to the top of the print and I'm gonna diamond dust this whole corner. And see how when you're working on like a piece of cardboard, you can kind of run it off the paper, off the print, and then just diamond dust it. So see how that's going right around her hairline? So it's almost like they're gonna be standing out. It's almost 3D. I love this too. I do a lot of these like this. My wedding portraits, I just did like, I just did different parts of my body, my dress. Um, so now I'm taking my smaller brush and I'm gonna go right in here in between their head. And I'm just gonna go, and again, if you get a little bit, like I got a little bit on his ear, his collar, it's okay because Diamond Dust is transparent and so is the Mod Podge. So you're really never gonna be able to see that you got a little bit where it doesn't belong. But see, the, the less you use, like this is such a tiny bit, you wanna make sure you do small sections, get your diamond dust on there, and, and then just work in sections. And then you can always take a flat, stiff brush like this, and if it looks like there's a plastic, the plastic's back here, I have it on backing. And you could just push that diamond dust where it wants to go, like off of his ear, and you could really sculpt it to be where it should be. If you get some that doesn't belong there or wait till it dries and just push it off. But see how that kind of makes them look 3D. So now I'm gonna come up here and do this one. I'm gonna dip my bigger, my little smaller brush again and just do right here around Sal's head. And then I can take my bigger brush and go straight up and get this whole little blank spot here. Shake it on. And it all just seems together because even though you see a line there, like when it's you know down here, but see how nice that's drying? So you're never, it's already starting to dry, but see how it's a little hazy here, but you can't really see the haze up on the lighter parts. It's on a, yeah, I have it on a matting because if you just try to diamond dust this, it will curl the weight of, you know, it gets wet and you don't want to do that. So you want to keep it on something stiff. Um, so see, I got some on his hair. I'm just going to push that back and follow it and take all that off. And it just like chips right off. And it looks amazing. See, so stinking pretty. So now I've got a wider spread over here. I'm gonna take my bigger brush and I'm just going to go right up to where I left off, right around Sal's head and just kind of work my way out from his head out and just follow the shape out. Go right around his face like that and then I'm gonna make like a little square and I'm just gonna work in that section right there if you guys can see and I'll work quick and I'll just do one line right there and I'll finish off this whole corner and again make sure that you are laying your diamond dust while that Mod Podge is still wet if it's not wet you're it's not gonna stick yep perfect See how that's going right around his head? And it just makes them look 3D. Wait till we get the whole thing done, peeps. You're gonna love it. All right, so now I'm gonna take my big brush again and I'm just going right around his face and pulling outward. Right around his shirt collar, right here, down and around to here. And I'm gonna do right up to that last edging Get some Mod Podge in there. Don't be afraid. You're not gonna mess it up. And just make that nice straight line and then make sure it's wet. Sometimes those little thin pieces dry real quick, like right there. You wanna make sure that you got a nice coat of that. 
Mod Podge on there. So see how we just keep moving on down? Moving on down. And you guys will be able to see when you get it in the light. I put it on heavy because I like it like that. Um, and you can fix it, get it off of his shirt, off of his face. Just kind of move it back with a nice stiff brush. And guys, I know I'm missing your comments, and I promise I will go back and read them all. Double-sided tape. Yes, thank you. No, she's still here. She's behind me working on Brittany's dress. She's, um, she is. Hello, all. <laughs> she's there. She's she's working on the bustle for Brittany's dress. Um, so here is their hands. I'm going right around their hands. Work like that. So you want to get a nice straight edge brush, and I'm going to do this whole white part right here. Again, working right up to where I left off. Like that. And then one nice, I'm just gonna do right around that whole white area, right there. Making sure that it's wet and not drying. And it's kind of humid and hot up here right now, but you don't wanna work with the fan blasting on you because that just makes the Mod Podge dry even quicker. So see how we're doing that? See how it's just, we're moving right along? Isn't that so pretty? Now see, it's still drying. You can tell when you look at the darker parts that it is still drying. So you don't want to mess with that. So now I'm going to come down and I'm going to do right around here. I'm going to go right up to that line. Right up. To it probably a couple more sections go right down to here and just make a nice straight line while that's wet and I'm going to throw some diamond dust on there okay see how it just looks so beautiful and they're not diamond dusted I think it's pretty it does take a village to have a wedding. <laughs> Cindy is part of my village people. <laughs> like I was once her village people. When I was right. I, I met Cindy years ago. I used to babysit her children. Thirty years ago. Thirty years ago, when she was a mom like me, and I babysat her kids. And so right here is Sal's boot. I'm gonna go around that because I don't want to include that in. And then I'm gonna go and work that out. And I'm going to diamond dust this whole corner down here. And guys, I lay on my diamond dust heavy. Um, use a shaker when you're diamond dusting. It really does help. Um, and again, I can see where this seam was from when I transitioned to that seam. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit and just plop some Mod Podge right on this tiny little line and then just give it some uh, some sparkle. So see how we have, now we have this one little edge to do here. I think I can do that with a bigger brush. And I'm just working around his boot to the grass. And all of that. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys, because, you know, sometimes it's hard to tell where the grass ends and Sal's foot starts. But... For the most part, you'll see what I'm talking about right here. Just enough. And then you can take your stiff brush and maybe, you know, I think that looks great. And then you just gotta eyeball it to where you think. I think I did pretty good, guys. So I'm gonna flip you up. Okay, we could probably turn the fan on now because it's <laughs> Okay, so now that I got this all diamond dusted, I mean, for the most part, guys, it's just got to dry now. Um, I am going to put this behind glass. I love it. Diamond glaze. I don't know what diamond glaze is, Patty. Um, this is my <laughs> bling of choice right here is diamond dust. And I know, so see how good that got it? And it's gonna, but you can still see it's got a little bit of cloudiness here. That just has to dry 
But see like here, in between his legs and over here, that's drying up and you can tell it's not even going to be cloudy. All that, but I seem to really notice larger pieces of mine even though it's in a shaker. You do have diamond dust in different sizes. I mean, look at all that glass in there. Um, it, and some of them are longer, some of them are shorter. You just, you know, it's just, and so you can go and push some of this up if you get some where you don't like it, but for the most part, what is that? Oh, that just needs to dry. I'm trying to look, you look in the light. I think it looks pretty gosh darn stinking good. Oh, I see one little spot that I did miss. So you guys can see like where you have like a little bare spot, just get it in the light and you'll be able to see that it's not, or you might have a thin part. I like the shaker and I put it on heavy so I kind of know that it's all even. Now see, I did have a line right here so I can see that line right there and I don't want that line. So I'm gonna take a small fine brush and just dab a little bit of Mod Podge right up that seam where I join those two bits together and just throw on some more diamond dust and it'll stick. And then once that all dries clear, you will never know that that's where your seam was. See, I see another one over here. That's why you, oops, that's why you wanna make sure when you're joining it, will it sparkle behind the glass? Yes, indeed it will. I have a couple of my wedding photos behind glass. Um, they look fabulous. I've done a lot of diamond dusting behind glass. It doesn't matter. You'll hear it crunching and moving around when you put it together, but it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't make a big deal. And then we're actually going to add something to this. Um, I've got a Swarovski crystal, these little tiny um, Swarovski crystals. We are going to, um, we are going to put it right here on her engagement ring and give her an actual real bling right there on her engagement ring. If she was wearing a belt with some bling, you can, you know, you can do that. If he was wearing a ring, you could take some black stones or whatever. Um, you can do so much cool stuff, but that's how easy it is to diamond dust a photo. Now I am going to let this sit, but picture this, this is the mat. You know, it's going to be like that. I've got some totally dazzled bling and I'm hoping that that dries because I really want to do the, um, I really want to put it all together with you. So I'm going to grab the frame. I got a frame right here. So this is the frame. It was gold. I spray painted it white. Oh, thank you. And I spray painted it white. So now what I want to do, because their wedding is, has gold to it. Um, I am going to take, and you guys know it, I'm going to grab my antique gold rub and buff, and because they have gold in their wedding, I am going to just, um, I'm going to give this some dimension with the antique gold rub and buff. Oh, this is, ew, why does it look like that? Yuck, it looks a little runny. Jeez, what's going on with the rub and buff lately, guys? I might have to squirt this out. Usually, I put it on, let's see. Yeah, this one looks a little greasy, so I just squirted some out. Um, I'm gonna take some on my finger, and all I'm gonna do, so I have it on my finger, and all I'm gonna do is I wanna bring out all this detail right here, so I'm just gonna rub that on like that. You just rub and buff it. So see how it's bringing, now it's just gonna have a little bit of gold. So it's all gonna be, you know, cohesive to their wedding colors. I'm trying to keep it on my finger, not get up underneath my fingernail. And then I'm just gonna rub that on like that. And it just kind of like goes over all that detail and makes that just stand out really beautifully. And I will show you guys in a second. And because I only wanna put it on this raised part, I'm trying to be really careful because I don't want it I don't want it on the flat part of the frame so see how that's looking doesn't that look pretty and then I am gonna do it on the inside of that as well this little beaded part right here um, I know 
know it's hard to see guys, but you guys have seen me use Rub and Buff so many times. It's one of my favorite products. And I'm just going over all that detail and it's really gonna be beautiful. Yes, I know, it's gonna be really beautiful with like the matting. And guys, I picked up this frame. I've had it forever. I got it at the Goodwill. Um, it was all gold. Um, and I just refurbished it. And I thought, you know, we can use this at the wedding. Um, why not? It's going to go somewhere at the wedding to display their, you know, picture. Because I'm all about putting pretty things out at the wedding. I think it's gorgeous, too. It's going to sparkle in the sunlight. I don't know where it's going to be at, but, you know, then they can take this home with them and hang it on their wall um, and know that, you know, we made it for her, guys. We were sharing the love on a Facebook Live video. Okay, so I got that all the way done around the sides, and I still want to be careful because I don't want this frame to get nicked, and it did already. So, see, I'll have to touch it up with some white. Um... So all I'm going to do in here is just go right around this beading on the inside and be really stinking careful because I don't want to get it anywhere else. And because I spray painted this, I don't really, you know, I can't go back and brush any mistakes, which I just screwed up. So it is what it is. Perfectly imperfect, shall we say. Yes. Even if you get some, I guess, where it doesn't belong. See, I got some here. Maybe I'll just go and add some. See, you got to work with it, guys. If something happens, you just got to go with the flow. And you just got to make it real. So I am going to go ahead and just take my finger across that edging right there. And we're going to go ahead and give a little bit of that flat part. Just a little bit. Just because I screwed up. But that's what makes it kind of even more intriguing. I'll show you in a minute. Hold on. So now I'm just running my finger down this beading here. And then just a little bit right here. And again, guys, it's not, you know, it's just fun. Make it your own. So I didn't want any gold elsewhere on this flat part, but my fat fingers got in the way. So now I have gold on, on everything. So, and maybe I'll go ahead and put some over on this side, but look at how pretty. Either way, it's really pretty. Can you see it? This lighting is so wonky. So see how it just brought, oh my God, my lighting sucks up here sometimes. Can you see that now? There you go. See how pretty? Hello, Rosetta. So now we have the frame done. But guys, I don't want to risk it. I'm going to put this off to the side. I will probably go over this with the spray sealer because I don't want that to chip because it was spray paint. Yes, and use a dip. I know, I can do that too. Um, just spray paint, the top paint, and use a brush. Yeah, I kind of like the way I did it. I just roll with it, guys. You know, it's perfectly imperfect. Make sure you wash your brushes that the Mod Podge comes on. So now what I want to do is I want to take back this frame, this picture. Make sure your hands are really clean because you do not want to get anything on your picture. I do too, Diane, the mistakes. It makes it one of a kind, you know? Um, so this is looking really, really good. As you can see, it's still in the drying mode. Do you see that little bit of that? Um, a little bit. See how it's a little cloudy over here? A little cloudy down here. Um, yeah, we don't want that. So we got to let this dry. What is that right there? Did I miss a spot? Yeah, see, I can see that little spot um, right there. So see, you just got to look and eyeball it, and you can see little blank spots if you have any. Just um, go over it oh so gently. Don't clam it on, you know, glob it on. Just kind of go with it gently. But we want to let this totally, totally dry. Um and see, there's like a big shard of glass. So you just take a stiff brush and you just kind of kind of pop it off. And um, yeah, I think it looks, and you can kind of touch it up wherever you have a diamond dust. 
but I think that looks amazing. But we want to let that dry. We do not want to put this behind glass. Thank you for the stars, Misty. Yes, Michelle, definitely. I love doing vintage pics. I did a picture of my mom when she was a little girl. I diamond dusted it. Um, but so see, you just want to make sure that dries completely, probably a good couple, you know, hours before you put this behind glass. Um, because you don't want to, you don't want to get that all messed up. You want to keep it like that. But see how it kind of makes them 3D almost? It makes them really stand out and just look cool. Yay! Yes, I created them again. So now what I want to do, guys, I can take this frame. I guess I can finish the frame off because I do want to put some, I want to finish the frame. Then once I get the picture in, I'll be able to, you know, post a picture. Um, it's a regular photo and it's been diamond dusted. Yes. Hi, Linda. So we have our frame. Okay. I'm going to take the frame. Let me think about this. I don't really want to lay it down because I do not want it. So this is the top. So I don't want to get it scratched up. Um, it does have glass. Or you know what? Do I have to put the glass in there? You don't have to put glass in. Okay, peeps? You got your frame. I'm going to lay it on this piece of cardboard because you don't want to put it on anything sharp. Here is the mat. So I just kind of want to give it, get an idea of where... The bling is going to go, so I'm going to put the frame, I'm going to put the cardboard back in here. So see, their picture is going to go right in the center. See how pretty that's going to be? Kathy, is that picture in a plastic color? No, I just have it double-sided tape. See, I have it taped to just this card piece of cardboard matting, and the matting back here is in plastic. This is all going to come off, this picture. So see? I just you when you're when you're doing a diamond dust, you want to make sure that it's on something solid because your picture will, will curl with you know it'll get really weird. So here's what that's going to look like and their picture in the middle. But what I want to do so this is the top. I want to take some totally dazzled bling and I have these pieces right here. Aren't that beautiful? So you guys, we're not going to put this in glass. I'm I'm going to leave it. I will probably end up double siding tape, you know, I'll tape it to the, the mat and then I will take this piece of cardboard and I will, um, I don't want to Mod Podge it to that because I can't really rub that, but I'll probably double side this all the way down um, and just gently get it on there so it sticks. But I want to take these pieces right here and I want to put, I have two of them and I was thinking I want to put two down here, just in these corners, just because, you know, I'm the blingy chick. So I just want to know where they're going on this mat. And I think that's going to be really pretty, don't you guys? Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. With their picture in the middle. I wish I could show you pictures. So you find out what parts lay where. Make sure that this is. I just spilled diamond dust in my lap. Not good. <laughs> I just whacked a whole bunch of it, right? So I'm going to lay this flat. Well, I kind of need it. I kind of need it up on this then. I guess I was wrong. So I need that because I need it to be up here so I know where to attach these with the glue. And I'm going to use E6000, guys, with a little bit of hot glue because I need this to stick. And if it's going to be hot at the wedding or something like that or sitting in the sun, I need to know that it's going to be, um, you know, secure. secure. So I'm just going to take all these goes right down like kind of in the middle like here and I'm going to E6000 and some hot glue hello happy Monday so a little bit of E6000 and it's getting all junky so E6000 down here and then just a little bit a little tiny bit of and my hot glue gun is not on so it's all E6000 <laughs> So I'm going to hold this up, and I'm just going to make sure, guys, that that is right where it's going to go. And that E6000 will dry super crystal clear. And because, you know, if you get a little bit, it's going to show, but I'm not worried about it. Like, I have a little puddle underneath that one thing. I'm not worried about it because it has to stay there. 
um, there's really nothing you can do about it. It's just gotta stay there. So now I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna do the same thing down here and just kind of have flanking corners with the E6000. Oh, and this one has a pin on the back. This is totally dazzled. So this is like the greatest stuff ever. You guys, I did post my affiliate link for Totally Dazzled up in the video description. You just pop these little things off the back. They're like little brooch pins. Be careful though, because you don't want to break your gem. Sometimes they're on here pretty good, and you just got to kind of twist and play it off without you know busting up your piece. So again, I'm just using some E6000 on those higher parts, a little bit there, and this one is actually going to go like this. And we're just going to let that dry and sit there until it's done. And I wish I could show it. I wish I had hot glue on it so I could show it to you guys, but I can't. Um, I don't want to get it all janky, but I'm going to put it off to the side. I want to make sure that I don't have like a huge glue blob right there. Oh. Yep. Perfect. Oh, guys, this is so stinking pretty. And you just want to let this lie flat until until you get it done. I'm wondering if I could, like, give you guys a little, if I can get it in there. Let's see. If I take this, oops. We don't want to get those all janky. Hold on. Just to give you guys an idea of what it's going to look like. So that's going to go, that's the picture. It's going to be so stinking pretty. So see, can you guys kind of see what it's going to look like? It's so pretty. It's going to be stunning. And I will post a picture when it's all done, but this all has to dry. I'm going to lay this down flat here. That's got to dry. Let the frame dry. Let everything dry, but I had to get it together. Now what I can do with this already is it's getting dry, but it's still not dry yet. See? It's still got a little bit of cloudiness down here. It's so stinking pretty. Oh, and then I'm gonna show you guys too while I'm on here, I'm gonna show you. I went to the Goodwill today while I was running around near my mom's house and I'm gonna show you what I picked up. Um, so where are my, I'm gonna put my E6000 lid back on. Yep, oh here it is. And then I'm gonna show you guys It's so pretty, isn't it? I know I can't wait. I think they're gonna love it. And you know, Brittany's not like a really blingy chick, but hey, I try to do it classy, you know? I think it'll be beautiful. They can hang it in their house somewhere and it'll be beautiful in their house. Um, I don't know where my lid is to my, ew, I just stuck my nail and glue. Why do I get my nails done? I don't know. Be careful guys, you don't wanna get anything on this photo. So I'm trying to be careful, but I don't know where my lid is to my rub and buff, so I'll have to find it later. Um, I'm going to take these little tiny Swarovski crystals, gold paint or matting. Barbara, that's matting. That's how it That's how it was. Hello, Ruth. Hello, Bev. All right, so I'm going to try to find, like, the tiniest one in here. I have a couple different sizes, and I'm going to grab my gem pen. Um, and I'm just going to find one that I think is the smallest. Now these are just clear crystals and I think I got it right there. So I have it right here. It's just one tiny Swarovski little crystal. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm going to grab, um, I'm going to grab this kind of glue and I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny, tiny dot right here on her on her um, engagement ring stone. Just a little bit, a little bit of this goes a long way. This is fabulous glue for when you're applying crystals. I'm gonna take my crystal, and hopefully this is not gonna be too big. I'm gonna stick it right there on her finger. How sticking cute is that? Oops, I might have to move it over just a little bit. It's a little bit bigger, but that's okay because it signifies, I mean, you wanna see it, but I don't wanna hold it up too long, I want that to dry, but look at how cute, see? 
She's got like a little bling for her ring. I might have to put my readers on for this one. Yes, that is perfect. Actually, I want to get it like right there. Right where her ring was. Perfect. And you're just gonna let that dry. Oh, and here's a little bare spot here. See what you find when you're uh, when you are uh, gonna put your readers on? Just a little spot right there. It's a little bare. I'm gonna take my diamond dust, give that a shake right there, and shake it off. Oh my word, this is so stinking pretty. Now I can see what I'm doing with my readers on. For the love of God, it's amazing what you do when you can see. Yep, it looks really good. You guys cannot see where I left off, where I cut it. Um, it's all just perfect. And then there's her ring. And I just want to make sure that that's... Maybe take a little tiny fine brush and just go around that so there's no glue seeping out. Even though that glue dries really clear, I'm just doing it to be extra careful because I don't want anything to inhibit that. But look at how pretty that's going to look, guys. She's got the little Swarovski bling in her ring. Yes, I love it. See, and it's all sparkly, and it just adds the right... I think it's fantastic. I love it. And that's a pretty small stone, but it looks big on here, but I kind of like it because it really stands out. Uh, what did I use to pick up the crystal? This is... I think I have this linked on my website. Um, this is just like a... It's called a... It's like a crystal katana pen, but it's the generic version. Um, and it's got like a waxy tip. And then, and you can just, you know, pick up crystals. You don't have to use tweezers. You like that I added the ring? I did too. I love it. Um, oh, I should do a blog post on this for sure with links because this would be great for people who are going to do this. Um, it's just a regular brush. I get these at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Is the ring on the wrong hand? No, because I don't have my camera flipped, um, Mary. So... Um, you're looking at the picture and it's in reverse. So it's right. It's on her left hand. Um, so once this all dries, I will peel this off of this uh, protective backing. And you just peel it off like this and you'll have your photo. Actually, I'll do it now and I'll put it on this piece of cardboard. And I'll show you guys what I mean. So you just lift it off. Lift it off with your, you have a double-sided tape. And you just work your hand underneath that because you got diamond dust all up underneath there. Because I went over the picture, I'll show you. I went over the picture. So I'm just peeling that off, running my hand underneath that. And then you can, you know, take your nail and just scrape off that extra diamond dust that just happens to be, that was transitioned from the print to the, uh, there you go. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I have this. This goes actually in with the frame, but I can drop that on there and just let that dry flat. But seriously, folks, look at how beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? So stinking beautiful. It looks amazing. Sometimes I even impress myself, chicks. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. It's like, oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, it turned out stinking amazing. And then you just want this to dry. So I'll leave this up here with the fan running and uh, wait for it to dry. Just hold a little finger of it. But look at how that now, it's like super sparkly. I love diamond dust. You can't beat it. Hello, Carol. A little sparkle in the eye. Yeah, well, there's no... That's really, really tiny. I don't want them to look weird. I don't want to touch their bodies. But you can do whatever you want when it's your photo. Uh, Kathy, will it do any damage to the pic down the road? I don't think so, no. I mean, I've had diamond dust pictures for two years now all over my room, and it looks fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Isn't it gorgeous? So I've never had... Um, I think I diamond dusted my first photo probably four years ago, and it still looks just as good. Canvas, the Mod Podge works amazingly well to adhere the diamond dust to. You do not want to seal your diamond dust. You do not want to, um, you do not want to spray anything on it or Mod Podge, it will lose its sparkle. Just let it sit. It's minimal fallout. Um, 
and I love using it. I put it on everything. <laughs> I'm so glad you love it. Somebody was asking a question, what was it? Um, how do you keep the diamond dust from cutting you? Um, I got a bunch of it in my legs right now because it all spilled, so you gotta be careful. I mean, um, you can, um, you know, get it stuck. I've had diamond dust splinters in my feet. It's not fun, so you gotta be careful, but you know, you don't wanna go and rubbing it. Um, you don't want to, you know, if you're gonna dust this, now this isn't gonna go behind glass um, because I added those gems to the, to the mat. Um, just like air dryer, just like a, a hot gun or, you know, not a hot gun, but like a hot, like air, like a hair dryer, just blow it off. You don't really need to dust it, you know, just the feather duster, but, um, just, you know, hit it with some air. I don't really do anything. You don't want to get it stuck. Is that a matte photo? Um, yes, this is not a glossy photo, but you can still do diamond dust, a glossy photo. You can do anything. Have you ever put a picture on a canvas? Yes, I've done a lot. I love can lots of canvases. No, this is not the dress for the wedding. That is my wedding dress from two years ago. Cindy's got Brittany's dress on my wet on my dress form, so I had to hang mine up on the door. I know I'm excited to put my personal touch to. I mean, it's at my house, so I have to. But you know, I want it to be special for them, and I want. I know she wants it to be like uber beautiful, and you know, so. We're doing, we're doing all out is the putting, I'm not putting the glass over it because I added the totally dazzled gems to the matting. I don't know if you guys can see down on the floor. I added the totally dazzled uh, gems to the corners of the mat. They're drying now. Did you place in a frame with glass? You can place it under glass for sure. Oh, Cindy, I bet yours looks amazing. Hello, Teresa. Hello guys. So yeah, you guys try it. The di that's totally dazzled. I did leave my totally dazzled affiliate link up in the video description. I left my Amazon affiliate uh, description for Diamond Dust for those who want to try it. Um, so I gotta put my readers on. It just has to dry. You, sometimes you just have to wait, and it's coming along really nicely. But see, in the darker parts, that's where you get. Because the diamond dust is diamond, even though it's transparent, it still has a bit of a shade to it. So you get a little bit of opaqueness when you go over um, uh, with anything dark. I like the gems in the matte tube, so there you can't put a glass on it then. Geraldine, practice on a piece of, you know, just whatever kind of picture. Literally, I diamond dust clocks, I diamond dust. Um, here's one I did for my son. This was gifted to me when my son was born. And it's like a little poem with his name and his birthday on it. And all I did was diamond dust the mat. So see, you don't, this was like an heirloom. This will be passed down when my kid, when my son grows up. So I diamond dusted the mat, but look how pretty. I mean, it just adds. And that was, okay, I diamond dusted this probably last year. And it's fine. It, I don't get any fallout. It's like perfect. I've diamond dusted all kinds of photos. I promise I need to keep trying. I have, I have, yeah, Cindy, for sure. I mean, diamond dust just adds a whole nother level of goodness. Oh, I see my lid to my, oh, it fell in, it fell in the Mod Podge. <laughs> so you guys just want to let that dry. Yes, I love that one too. So I kept all my stuff, you know, that I had like when my kids were little and I brought it up to my sparkle studio here and I was like, I'm going to diamond dust that. So, um, I have, you know, I didn't have talent either. I saw Diamond Dust. It took me so long to find out about Diamond Dust. Um, people are stingy with it. And I could not find, like, how to do it. Um, I think, I, I'm telling you, I know I introduced the crafting world to Diamond Dust because nobody would, like, if they had it, they didn't share it. And I, like, finally just said, you know what, I'm going to, I found someone my Amazon and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wing it and I'm just going to try it. And so here I am. I am diamond dust hooked myself to Elizabeth. It's like the, my favorite, my favorite things is diamond dusting because for a $14 jar of diamond dust, do you know how much stuff you can, you know, sparkle? And it's not, it's not like cheesy. Yes. Yeah, Cindy is a seamstress. She's the one that made all those beautiful table runners we sold at the sale. Hello, Terry. She is working on Brittany's wedding dress, Judy. She's doing all the bustles. <laughs> yep. 
can you spray adhesive? I don't know, Annie. I've never used it. I've always used Mod Podge because Mod Podge really, really um, works really well. And it really secures it. And it you don't get a lot of fallout. I mean, I have my wedding canvas hanging in my hallway uh, across from my bedroom. And there's never any fallout. And it's hanging on a wall. Oh, guys, it's so much fun. Until I found you. I know, Sandy, I'm telling you. I think I'm the one that started the diamond dust craze here. Hello, Catherine. Which is fine. I'm glad because the world needs to know about diamond dust. I'm good, Catherine. How are you? Are you driving? Um, so I'm going to make sure my crystals, I almost spilled all my crystals out. And then I'm going to show you guys what I got at uh, the Goodwill. Because y'all need to see that because we're in wedding mode. So I don't have them up here. But guys, we're like having a lot of like sprinkle lights and, um, you know, Christmas lights and all that razzmatazz in our trees. Um, I'm going to save my diamond dust, so I'm trying to get it into a pile so when I'm done with this live, I can, um, I can, um, hold on a second, I don't want that to fall. I can throw it back into my container. Just make sure that it's not polluted diamond dust. You know, you don't want any junk or, or you know, if you're working with like any kind of weird crafting supplies and it gets in there, just toss it. Um, Hobby Lobby does not carry diamond dust. You can find it um, at Michael's if you're lucky. I don't get very lucky at Michael's. They never have a lot of it or one or two. And if I see it, I do get it because it's cheaper on Michael's, but usually I just order on Amazon. Elizabeth, I know that I wanted sparkly things at my wedding, and I I was just researching, and it came up something on Instagram, diamond dust. So then I Googled diamond dust, and all I could find was like, like actual diamonds, you know, from a diamond ring diamond dust. And I was like, what? This has to be a thing, you know? And the people on Instagram who do it, they wouldn't share with me where they got it from. Um, so I was busy like a little squirrel, you know, busy little bee. Figuring out and doing some research, and then here, here we are. They close both of your good wills. Oh my gosh, Kathy, what does Big Daddy do besides racing? He has his own company. It's called Advanced Industries. It's here on Facebook, guys. Go up and look under Advanced Industries um, Irrigation and Lighting. So they do um, irrigation, like those pop-up sprinklers, and you get, you know, nice landscaping. You don't want to water it. So they have um, irrigation, and then they do um, lighting, the decorative lighting for your home. And then he, they also do directional drilling, so they bore underground and, you know, install fiberglass uh, wires and all this other stuff for like AT and T and all these other big companies. I'd love to die. I don't know if I would dive and test my headboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I wouldn't do it on anything you're going to be touching a lot. You know, somebody says, "What about a phone case?" No, no I wouldn't sorry. suggest that. Yeah, I saw that the people in California had it on clearance. I would have bought every single one. If you find it, I mean, buy it, peeps. I have like five jars over here, but they all came from Amazon. I think one might have come from Michael's. Sometimes I get lucky. Um, sometimes I don't. So anyway, Goodwill. What I get at Goodwill? Um, and I got to know what time it is. Okay, we're good. Um, Pam, I did, I dropped my affiliate link for Amazon in the video description of this video. Um, so you can always uh, order it from Amazon. Order today, have it tomorrow. Uh, but I get mine on Amazon, and I did attach the link along with the totally dazzled, um, my totally dazzled link. Because if you're having a wedding, guys, you need totally dazzled. And if I were you, order the hundred pack or the seventy five pack, and just have fun because it's going on everything. Um, because why not? All right. So today. I got like a bunch of Christmas lights, guys. I got like six or seven bags of Christmas lights for like $3 to wrap around my trees, and they all worked. Now, this I did get. I thought it was cute. It's a clock. It's going to get painted. Um, it's going to get um, some totally dazzled. It's going to get some stripes. It's going to get definitely blinked out. I don't know. I'm trying to get the uh, sticker off here so you guys could see it. Um, it's just kind of like a cute, it's plastic, and I'm peeling, hold on, and it's kind of chippy and rusty, not rusty, but shabby. Check this out. Isn't it cute? I think that's the right way. Yeah, it's a clock. I don't know, kind of, I don't know, it's just kind of cool. 
it's just kind of neat. I'm going to probably give this a shabby look, diamond dust the face of that clock, get a battery in the back. It says made exclusively for home interiors and gifts. Do you guys remember that? How funny is that? Actually, I might even take out this little clock form and maybe put some... You're a blessing. I know. Thank you, Pam. I mean, the world has to know about diamond dust. I'm not selfish. I want everybody to play with it. It's so amazing. Um, so this this cute little thing. Um, oh, and I got these guys, which I'm really excited about. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, I have it in the sink downstairs. I got these cute little, I got two of them. Look at these. I'm going to get some, I'm going to spray paint these gold, and then I'm going to put some of those flickering flameless like Luminera candles and have these. So I got two of these today, but I'm going to spray paint them and put some of those flickering flameless candles. Of course, I'm going to add a big piece of Totally Dazzle Bling right here because why not? And then I found, um, I found a tray and it's a footed tray. So how cool is that? Yeah, she's busy bee back there working away on that dress. <laughs> it's home interiors. That's not cheap. Really? Well, um, here it is. I'm hoping it works. If not, if it doesn't work, I don't see why it wouldn't. It's just battery operated. And it says Sirocco, which everybody knows. It's like Sirocco. I have a bunch of Sirocco in my house. Um, but it does say home interiors made exclusively. So it must be Sirocco makes all this like plasticky stuff, which I love all of the Sirocco stuff. So yes, it's going to get funkified for sure. So that's what I found. Um, and I did find another, um, little candle abra. Um, it sits on a table, but it's got like five or six, but I'm thinking about actually using it in, as a chandelier. Um, I think that would be kind of cool. Yeah, Sue, I got the same one. Actually, somebody just asked me about this tray. They want me to recreate the one that I did in like three live sales ago. Do you guys remember? It was like navy blue and white checked with those beautiful Prima stencils and or uh, transfers in the center. And I had all kinds of polka dots and stuff going on all around it. You can change the clock. Yes, exactly, Delilah. Uh, Cindy, apps, she says, I need you and your friend Cindy to come visit me and help me with my daughter's wedding. <laughs> We're on it. I know I should be a wedding planner. I swear to God, I'm loving this stuff. You guys know me. I mean, I like bling. I'm like the queen of bling. So, of course, a wedding is like right up my alley. So, let's see what Sal and Brittany look like. They're still drying, but again, guys, you just got to give it time. You'll know when it's ready. But see how much clearer that's getting now? It's getting there. It just needs a little bit more to go. And then I'll be able to, um, then I'll be able to get that. Mm, I wonder if I could do it now. I don't know. I don't want to mess with it now, even though I really want to show you it all put together. But I still have to make sure that those jewels are, um, you know, all secure before I start messing with that, um, before I start messing with that matting. So anyway, oh, I would, I missed I'm like all about it. I love it. Um, and now we're in like full blown wedding mode, three weeks. Um, it's down to the nitty gritty. Um, you just sold a lot, a lot of stuff to clear out your studio. I know Sandy, that's why I have to have the sales because do you imagine, um, I mean, it helps me out too. I can keep doing what I'm doing, but, um, it's like I have to. What what would I do with it? So I love share, I love being able to pass it off, and uh, you know letting everybody enjoy it. How do you have you done the trick of spray painting gold or silver spray with water and vinegar? Yes, I've done that before. That gives it the mercury effect. Um, we're not doing that. I have a couple of little tables out uh, around the pool that I spray painted in a. It's like an eighteen karat uh, gold spray paint. Came out really nice. Um, Yes, I'm definitely going to post a picture of this when it's all um, done, but I really want to let that dry. I need those crystals to dry um, because I don't want those getting all wonky. This is E6000, so I mean, they're pretty well on there, but they're still a little bit movable, but look at how pretty that's going to be. Look at that. So see, I want that. I don't want them sliding around. I want it to be just right. And then I will take, here, maybe I could do this for you guys. Here we 
me just take that and see where the picture is going to be at. I think with this mat, I'm going to lose a little bit of their feet, but that's okay. So see, that's kind of like what it's going to look like. Isn't it gorgeous? So that's kind of gives you an idea. And then that white frame around, it's going to be so stinking pretty. I'm just going to, I love it. So, but I'm just going to let all of this dry for right now. What do you guys think? I can't get signed into the VIP group. I've tried something after you get through email me. Okay, Charlie. Yeah. So if you go to my website and then you hit the main menu at the top of the website, royalfunkyjunk.net. You click join Royal VIP. That'll take you to payment processing. It gets you all set up with payment processing. And then you just go back to here on Facebook and um, find the Royal Sparkle Chicks. And then I'll approve you once I uh, verify payment. Thank you guys. It was fun. Well, I'm glad you guys um, watch this. Thank you for sparkling. I know I get a lot of messages from people asking about diamond dusted photos. So I hope that I helped um, y'all. And again, um, be on the lookout for your funky junk that's coming, guys. It's coming. And Diamond Dust is clear. Hi, Cheryl. We have a new sparkle chick in the house. Yes, uh, Diamond Dust will, to will, it will dry totally clear. You just got to give it time. See how it's drying clear? Um, this used to be really cloudy over here in this, in this corner. I'm going to move you down a little bit. This used to be really cloudy. See how it's getting there? You just got to give it time to dry, and that's all it needs. And then once it dries, it's totally crystal clear. I did that, but it keeps spitting me out. Hmm. Um, I will, um, Charlie message me and then I will, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll get it totally taken care of. Thank you guys for the stars. Um, Sue, I have my affiliate link for Totally Dazzled in this video description. Um, I'm a brand ambassador for Totally Dazzled, so you guys can go over there. They have beautiful bling. It's my favorite. I'm talking bling like you've never blinged before. So go out there and their prices are so reasonable. It's amazing. So I'm going to have a lot of totally dazzled bling all over the wedding. Um, they have the bling wrap and it's just great. Thank you guys. I'm glad you guys had fun. So you guys have a great evening and I will see you on later this week. I don't know when, but make sure you sign up for my uh, telegram and I'm, I always give a little shout out before I go live. So you guys have an awesome, awesome evening. Happy Monday and don't forget to leave a little sparkle. I'll see you guys soon.